right, we are going to start learning how to do an animation creating a sprite sheet. And a sprite sheet really is just a group of images that when you run them together uh, will make an animation. And it's using this thing called persistence of vision to make our brains think that we're actually seeing something in motion. And this has been around for quite a while now. This is an example um, done a while ago with uh, taking individual images of a horse and putting them together. So sprite sheets can um, look all sorts of different ways. Here's a sprite sheet, um, and this is actually an example of the code that we're going to be using. Uh, I have a sprite sheet here of a bouncing ball or of a butterfly. Um, this really all the it's happening is the color is changing. Uh, there's a couple ways that you can create a sprite sheet. One of the easiest is to use Piskel because when you create with Piskel, it automatically will create a sprite sheet for you. And those of you who've done this before know that I just like folks to experiment around. So I'm just going to do something real quick. Um, you can do a copy if you want to continue working with the same image. I'm just going to change what color goes on the inside. All right, so I'm going to start with, stop with that, but when you're working with your uh, sprite sheet, you're going to want to have 36 different images uh, to create your animation. What you want to do first here is go to the resize, and you want your image uh, to be at least 300 by 300. You can make it larger, but definitely we don't want it smaller. Make sure that both maintain aspect ratio and resize canvas content are checked, and that will resize. It doesn't look like anything's happened, but it did and then you want to click on export and you'll see that it's going to export a PNG with a sprite sheet and you can go with the default whatever they give you uh, columns and rows because that doesn't really matter for the program so you'll download that and when you look at it you will see that it created a sprite sheet for you all right so that's one way to create a sprite sheet Another is to use uh, some sort of editor, um, photo editor like Photoshop or GIMP, or this is uh, Pixlr, which is an online uh, photo editing option. Um, there's also Sumo Paint. There's so many different options. Um, what you're going to do is, again, create a new image, and you're going to want to make sure that it's at least 300 by 300. Whatever size you decide to go with, you just want to be consistent for every image that you create. I also suggest that you always um, use transparency. That way you can decide if you want to put a background um, happening with your animation. And uh, I had started a smiley face here, so maybe with my next one I'll do the similar thing. Again, you'll just need to experiment with these tools. Here's a circle tool that I can use. And uh, actually I'm going to do the, I'm going to leave it black like that. I'm going to save that. When you're using an image editor, you're going to have lots of different options to save. I would save always as a PNG. That way you'll get your um, transparent background. And then once you have your 36 images saved, you can sew them together um, in the Sprite Sheet tool, which I'll give you access to. Sorry, my computer takes a while. So as we're waiting for this to happen, as you're thinking about your 36 images, I would suggest creating a storyboard. Um, what kind of transitions are you going to have uh, between your images? What frame is that going to happen in um, before you actually get started so you know that you have a plan to get through the seven stages uh, with your animation. All right, and then once you have your 36 images, you can drag them into this tool and it will create a sprite sheet for you. So I've only got three to start with. Um, you're going to want to make sure you have all of yours to do the same time. And there, there's a sprite sheet. Uh, you're going to want to set the padding to zero. You don't need padding for this. Um, and then you'll save it as sprite sheet. And that's the file, either the sprite sheet you created with Lushy or the sprite sheet you created with Piskel that you're going to need for the next step. All right, good luck.